What's up noob crew, thanks for clicking, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I really wanted to buy myself an armor fire team, but uh, I can't afford one, they're too expensive, I've already bought enough cars. So I thought for a bit of a laugh, we'll stick a bit of Arctic camo on this, just for a laugh. I'm not trying to pretend this is a, <laughs> this is a fire team guys, don't, don't worry, uh, I just thought it'd be quite good fun. Also, someone in one of my other videos in the comments put a little thing saying, why don't you ex extend the hubs? Um, he also made a very good suggestion of extending them 10 mil. You can get 10 mil hub extenders from uh, people like MTC Racing, uh, Scorched RC, people like that. They're quite expensive, but they extend, they widen the track a bit and make it a bit more controllable. And they're very good and very reliable. But that's not really my style, guys, is it? So what I've done is I've gone for 23 mil ones, which is twice the width. And I've got them from Amazon where they were 12 pound for four. Obviously, they're going to be amazing, right? Definitely not going to break. Okay guys, welcome back. So, <laughs> what's the point of me reviewing something that everyone else has reviewed, eh? What's the point of me reviewing something that's really good? We all know you can buy the expensive good ones and they're gonna work well. They've been tested, they're fantastic. Your Scorched RCs, your MTC Racing, your CRC upgrades, they're all fantastic manufacturers of parts and the parts are fantastic. But hey, I'm a noob, I don't know any better. So I've bought these ones, they're twice the whip and uh, they cost £12 for four. What can possibly go wrong? Um, so I'm going to cut to a little bit because I've actually fitted them because I was going to do a little bit of fitting and montage, but they were a right pain to fit. So what I've done is I've videoed you a before and after when I've done one side and not the other side. Excuse the, uh, excuse the sound. Um, I forgot to put the microphone in. So have a look at that. And when we come back, that'll be that. As you can see, there's quite a big difference in the standard uh, FTX one and the 23mm offset Amazon special um, but it's thin in the middle there it feels quite good quality but we'll have to see if it's actually any better or if, it's, if it snaps uh, we've put the red rear aluminium um, chop tower on there which obviously looks looks really cool it's, the only thing I'm worried about is that the where it mounts onto here with the old one the force is bent the uh, shock tower with the new one. I'm worried it won't bend, it might snap the diff housing, but we'll have to see. As far as the offset difference goes, you can see on that side how far it is away from the uh, chassis. Moving across that side, you can see it's a lot closer. And the same on the front. Look at that gap there versus that gap there. It's a bit easier to see with the body on. With the body on, you can see there's a big gap there and a small gap there. And the same big gap there and no gap at all there. Okay, so before we take it out, uh, so I've put this Arctic camo stuff on. I'm not gonna bring you another look at it. It's a terrible job. Uh, the stuff was really cheap. I think it was like four quid for four or five sheets. It's not waterproof. First time we can hit any puddles or mud or roll it or anything, it's gonna rip it all off. But I just thought it'd be, it was quite cool to uh, make it look a bit different. Um, underneath wise, we've, as I said before, we've changed this rear shock tower. The old shock tower, this metal one here still, as you can see it's bent. It's bent, it's bent. Now I could have just straightened that. Obviously when you straighten it and bend it and straighten it and bend it, it starts to get weak over a period of time. These are 15 quid, this one was 18 pounds, so I've gone for the CNC aluminium one. The only problem with that is, when you can't drive like I can't and you crash all the time, this is what we'd, what we'd call a weak link. So the idea is, is that this bends and doesn't break anything else in the car. By me replacing this aluminium part here, that's gonna make this stronger. Now the force has still gotta go somewhere, so I'm a bit worried that the force might transfer down into the gearbox housing, might break the gearbox housing instead. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, it's the same with metal arms. You can buy metal suspension arms, they're stronger, but the force has to go somewhere. So if the bottom arms don't break, 
from the force, the force travels up the bottom arms and it just finds the next weakest link. Then you replace that, next weakest link, replace that till you have a completely metal car, weighs a ton and you just bend everything and it's no good anyway. So anyway, that forever ado, a clever man would have weighed this because it's definitely, the aluminium one's definitely lighter than the steel one. A clever man would have weighed that to tell you how much the difference was. But hey, we all know I'm not a clever man. So uh, without further messing around, Let's just whack it out on the road and give it a go and see how long these whole thing extenders last before they break, right? Okay, guys. Here we are. So, you can probably see it's a bit wider. It's looking a bit more, looking a bit more like a proper racer car now. I just want to see what it does to the handling first. Okay, so it makes it a lot a lot more stable. Yeah, look at that, though, see? With the extra width, it doesn't roll. It's not a lot of body roll at all, to be fair. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we've got 23 mil on each side, so that's <laughs> 44 mil. So, if you were just going to take this car on park, stuff like that, and you, oh, oh no. And it will self right itself as well. <laughs> so, yeah, if your plan was to just take this on parks, take it for a good drive, and get some good handling out of it, this is the, this is the, this is the mod, guys. For 12 quid. For 12 quid, it's amazing. The handling is so much different. I'm a bit scared about coming too close to me. Yep, that soaked me. So, oh yeah, the Arctic, Arctic camo is looking good now. The thing is though, how long can it take a bit of bashing. I've got to admit, I don't expect it to last too long. But equally, I don't want to bash it too hard. What am I talking about? Of course I'm going to bash it hard. So, can it take a medium sized jump. If we're lucky we'll land it, but I don't think we will, not that good yet. Well, it survived one jump. Let's try this one. Okay, well that was holding out so well, so far so good. The idea is not to is not to break it. It's just to come here. and do a few jumps. I love this car, guys. And this mod. Oh. Seems to make itself, when it rolls over, it seems to make it land a bit better as well. I don't know if that's just luck. But it definitely seems to go better. Guys, it's brilliant. I really want to take it off a biggie. So many good jumps here, guys.
Now I love this jump, but I don't know if I can get, I will struggle to film this one guys. This is a big jump, big jump. Hello, I'm a jump. Let's give it a go. <laughs> As if that landed. Okay guys, uh, we'll have to call that a wrap. Uh, unfortunately, the nothing wrong with the car, um, just the wires come off the battery, that's my soldering I'm afraid, hands up. <laughs> my fault, as usual. Um, honestly, I'm surprised. The hub extenders lasted really well. I mean, we hit some big jumps there, and it makes the handling amazing. The handling's so much better with that width, extra width. Um, I don't know guys, we flat landed some quite big jumps there, uh, and the car survives. It's just the battery that's come unsold, otherwise I could carry on going. I don't know, you make what you will of that, guys, but I think, yes, the MTC racing ones or the CR, you know, whoever you buy them from, gonna be much better, and 10 mil's probably about right. But I don't know, 23 mil, I think they're 12 quid for the four. They're quite easy to fit, just a bit time consuming, the little pins are a bit hard to get out. It massively increases the handling, makes it much more controllable in the air, and it will self right itself. I think this has made this car ultimate, ultimate. It's made this car ultimate. Uh, not sure about the, the uh, Arctic camo. It's summertime now for a start. Plus also it's not waterproof and it's just gonna fall off. But other than that guys, I reckon this makes this the best car. I'm gonna go back and solder the battery up so I can take it back out and have some more fun with it. But for now, this is it. Thanks for watching guys. My name's Ben, this is Lee RC. I'll see you in the next one.